on, bro. Nice, bro. Good fish. Good fish. Nice, dude. Look at that, bro. He ate it. It works. Look, the, it's set just perfect in the corner of the mouth, too. Yeah, dude, Sly City method. It's working. I'm gonna try to catch some more. On again. God dang. This is much bigger, too. Yeah, this guy is right over slot, so we're gonna have to let him go. But hey, man, float hook, it's working. What's up, everybody? Jesse, Sly City Fishing. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited. I've had a pretty epic day fishing so far. Uh, but the reason I'm making this video is I came up with a cool new thing I want to show you guys. And it all started with some underwater footage uh, on Tony from Fish Gums channel. Welcome back to Florida Underwater Saltwater Fishing and you are looking at a permit. Taking a chew. Next up, we have Pompano. One of the tastiest fish in all of Florida. And it's fish that are attracted to the floats on your pompano double dropper rigs and he has underwater footage of the fish sucking in the float trying to crush it spit it out and they miss the hook so uh, i came up uh, with a new thing also thinking about the sinker guys uh, the sinker guy method which he puts beads on the hook and the reason for that is they're going to suck in all that uh, beads and try to crush it like a clam uh, but that's with beads. I thought about why not do it with a float and would it work if I did it? So we already caught some fish with them. I'm gonna show you uh, what I did with these floats on the hook and you might wanna try it, man, cause uh, it's a pretty cool concept. It's working for me. Nice. Come on, bro. Nice, bro. Good fish, good fish. Nice, dude. Nope, red. Nice. All right, let's see how this thing hooked up. Look at that, bro. He ate it. It works. Look, the, it's set just perfect in the corner of the mouth, too. All right, guys, float on the hook. Just pulled in this nice 24-inch redfish. Uh, this is a beautiful eating size, right in the middle of the slot. And this is my favorite fish to catch. So, uh, yeah. We're definitely going to uh, bleed him out and put him in the box, make some black and red fish later. Uh, we're going to put some more float hooks out there and see if we can't catch some more. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. When you're fishing with a double dropper rig, your floats are free to slide up and down your dropper loop line. And as you can see in that underwater footage that Tony was so nice to show to me, that it happens more than you think that the fish will try to eat this float. So I was like, well, let's stop thinking about the float as an attractant and start thinking about it as bait. So what I did is I got this float in a hacksaw blade and I cut a little notch into it and then I put the float on it and then hit it with super glue. And the shank of that hook actually fits perfectly into the float. It like clicks into it. And then I got super glue and closed up the gap. But now what we have is the float on the hook. All right, guys, for the presentation now, you can see I got the float, the shrimp, and the fish bite. And it actually is pinching the shrimp really well between the fish bite and the float. Uh, this is gonna do a couple things for you. It's gonna hold your bait on better. Your float is not slipping up and down the double drop line. And then also, this float is buoyant, so it's gonna be moving in the water, giving it some wave action, almost like a jig. So this now has become essentially a lure under the water on again god dang this is much bigger too all right they're out deep today this has got to be another red pull and drag All right, they're deep. Both of these fish were caught on this over the bar 13. So there's two guys beside me and a lot of them down the beach and they're not catching. And I'm pretty sure it's because the fish are out far. It's 
a big fish. What do we got? Nice, dude. It's turned out to be a good day. A lot of head shakes with this guy. They're strong. Yep, another red. All right, reds are schooled up behind the sandbar. Nice, bro. All right, you can see, guys, he ate that down. And I think that he crushed the fluke when he ate it. But, hey, man, it's working. This is a very nice redfish, too. God dang. All right, guys, we got another big drum on the float hook. Let's get a measurement. Yeah, this guy is right over slot, so we're gonna have to let him go. But hey, man, float hook, it's working. Look how pretty this fish is, though. We gotta let him go. Blue tail, spot, and he's that uh, silver color that you only get out in the ocean. All right, that's the second red that I caught behind the sandbar. So real nice fish, but we gotta let this one go. There he goes, he was ready. All right guys, it's getting dark. That's gonna do it for me today. How I was fishing is I got four rods out and I usually do long, short, long, short, long, short. But today, both those fish were caught on this same rod. That's an over the bar 13 made by Florida Surf Tackle. If you're interested in one of those rods, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll tell you more about it. But uh, that rod was the only one that I was able to get really far out into that rip current. And then I'm pretty sure a school of redfish uh, swam through it through there. Uh, if you're local, you'll know the fishing has been pretty rough lately. There's a lot of people out here and I was the only person catching. And I think that that has to do with me bombing that lure out really, really far, but also the action that that float puts on the hook, I think had something to do with it. Uh, if you want to know, I'll put all the stuff in the uh, comments exactly what I was using. That was a Eagle Claw laser sharp 2 out circle C hook and then pill floats that I got from DS Custom Tackle. Uh, and then let me know if you want me to show you a video exactly how uh, I make that. Uh, I'll make another video showing you exactly how to do it. But yeah, I think that this is something that needed to be done a long time ago. It's just that people attempted it with the wrong size tackle. But I just incorporated the tackle that I know already works, those two out circle hooks and those floats, and then just made it essentially into uh, you know, a, a jig or a lure, however you wanna describe it. I wouldn't say that that's a replacement for all your other you know, double dropper rigs or whatever, but that's definitely something that I'm gonna have tied on all the time now. So uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, always doing cool stuff like this, and then join my Facebook page and group because I go live on there all the time, uh, talk to you guys one-on-one, -on -one, go fishing with you, all that good stuff. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.